Welcome back to Mother's Kitchen. Um, I was reading some of my emails from working with one of my um, my manager, Bronwyn. Bronwyn, if you're watching this, she sent this email saying that there was something like horrible, like 50 days left to Christmas. It's like ah, panic. So we thought that we would start doing some things that you could prepare for Christmas or have at Christmas time, which are really easy. And also things like gifts that you can give away, like um, shortbread cookies and things like that. So the next few weeks we'll start to do that and then um, you can prepare yourself better than I am. So tonight anyway, we thought that we'd do a really super simple um, dessert, which is one of the favorites because it's so flippin' quick and easy to do. Good old trifle, and this is how we do it in our house. You might do it differently in yours, this is how we do it in ours. Now, <clears throat> you can buy the good old trifle sponge, which is, my son-in-law bought this for me, a lot of money. Oh, shout out to uh, to Jershon's study buddies as well, who also watch Mum's Kitchen. Um, this is like $6 from, from Countdown. If you're clever enough, you can go also to the bakery area, and they have the round, unfilled sponges, and they sell for about $3.50. So they're just as good, just as cheap. If you want to get flash, you can also get the like the um, sponge rolls and things like that and put jam in them and, and then put them around your bowl. We're not doing that tonight. So um, <laughs> you can do all that, but we're not doing it. Um, so I'm just going to use one of, we're just going to make a small sponge. And I think Brooklyn says that she's going to be taking it to work. Why are you looking at me like that? It's true. Because okay. yum, try for the next day, it's still right. flipping good. Okay, are they all diabetes consultants? <laughs> Nurses, <laughs> nurse practitioners. <laughs> okay, so, so I've got a clean bowl and basically I'm going to rip it into some decent sized shapes, size pieces rather. And we don't want them too small because there's nothing worse, Elise, than soggy blimmin's trifle that's just it's just like gross so I'm going to half fill my bowl with this with these size pieces of sponge and then I am going to use a can of crushed pineapple which is in the juice which has slightly less sugar than because it's got no added sugar it's still got a lot of natural sugar but it's got no added sugar and I'm going to put half of this in here so it's going to soak into half of the half of the sponge but not all of the sponge like I said we don't want to super saturate it and then after that I've got a small jar of peaches that I did I don't know when I haven't even got the date on them shame on me from my food storage cupboard um see you can bottle them in anything save your jars because it, it'll be peach season in another three months time and um I'm going to put these in there with some of the pineapple so give me a few minutes and then I'll show you what that looks like okay so we've placed it in here we've put our some of our peaches in there and also pineapple crushed pineapple in here and so the flavor that we're going to have is pineapple peaches and passion fruit okay so I've got some passion fruit pulp which is already prepared or if you're lucky enough to have fresh passion fruits whoop whoop use some of them Okay, and then I'm just going to thread this through and make some custard. Now the custard isn't egg custard, this is just good old packet custard. But a lot of people don't know how to make it. It's actually not that hard. So I've got a litre of milk in here which is warming in my pot. And I have got some powdered custard powder. Do you know really, I'm pretty sure, uh, Edmunds might shoot me if they see this. But I'm pretty sure it's like cornflour and colour. So, or, you know, if you don't want to do that, good old carton of custard. This stuff is like, yum. <laughs> it's really good. So, but tonight we're going to make custard custard here. So, that's warming up. That's still warming. And I'm going to add two tablespoons, two heaped tablespoons of custard powder and probably two heaped tablespoons of raw sugar. We use raw sugar because... It makes us feel better about ourselves. Okay, so two of these, two of these, and I'm going to add a little bit of milk and, and make it into a paste. I'll show you what it looks like before I add it to the milk. Okay, so give me a few minutes. Do so, you know how I get those quantities wrong? <laughs> okay, one of those nights. So I use three tablespoons 
of custard powder in here. This is just for all new people overseas, custard powder. Okay, I don't know what you've got over there, over in Ireland or over in America or wherever, but that's what we got here. So you must have something similar. Or, don't forget, this stuff this is good. <laughs> okay, um, so three tablespoons of custard powder and I've added two tablespoons of sugar. And I'm going to add a cap full of vanilla essence, just the cheap stuff because I'm too tight. Okay. I'm too much of a tight wad to get the good quality stuff, okay? And I'm just going to give it a mix so it's nice and smooth and there's no lumps, okay? In the meanwhile, the milk is heating up. See that? It's not bubbling or boiling, but it's hot enough to probably add this custard mixture to it. So I'm just going to slowly add it and stir it at the same time. I've got a good flat paddled um, spoon as well so that it won't stick to the bottom and I'm just going to stir that until it starts to thicken remember there's a lot of corn flour in there so it needs to be cooked off and keep stirring it so it doesn't get lumpy so give me a few minutes and it better go thick otherwise I could be readjusting that recipe again <laughs> let's see how it goes eh? it's thickening <laughs> so can you see how thick that's gotten? And you can also tell because it's going to coat the end of your, of your, it's going to coat your spoon. So, good. These sort of spoons like these are, are really good because they catch all the, see, all those bits at the bottom. So, I'm just going to take it off the heat and let it cool down. That's going to be a soft custard. So, you couldn't let this cool down and make custard square or anything like that because it'll be too soft. But this is perfect for the likes of a trifle. Okay, so in the meanwhile, Brooklyn's going to, we're going to beat up some cream. We haven't used cream for a long time, have we? Eh? Mm. <laughs> so we're going to beat up some cream and we're going to chop up some fresh fruit. And at the moment, strawberries are going nutty here, so strawberries it is. So we're going to use strawberries and passion fruit on top of our, of our trifle on top of the cream. So give us a few minutes to do that and we'll construct it all and uh, go from there. Okay, so here's the custard that's gone through and it's filled up all those gaps that were down the bottom so it looks pretty good like I said if you want to get a little bit flash you can go and get those sponge rolls the unfilled ones and you can put uh, jam jam through them just a really good homemade jam um, through them roll them up cut them into slices and then you can put them beautifully around the side you know so that it looks really flash Flash, Ponzi, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now I purposely told Brooklyn to overbeat the cream because I want to show you this. A lot of people overbeat their cream and then all of a sudden you've almost got butter. It's a good idea just to keep a little bit of pouring cream in the bottom, bottom of the bowl because then you can just mix it up and hey presto, you're, good back, to, you're back to good cream. Okay, so I have to wait until this cools down as well. Because uh, you can't put cream on top of hot custard. Eek! Sorry, that was a sacrificial strawberry. So, if you also, um, if you want to, if you don't want your, some people don't want um, cream on it, and that's alright, and you can just leave it like that. Like, who doesn't want cream on it? Just throwing that out there. But if you don't want a skin on top of your custard, then you can put something like um, baking paper down and just press it into it, and it'll stop it from having that you know, that skin when it gets cold. Now, you might be impressed by me with that little tidbit, but actually I found it on the box of the Edmunds. <laughs> but I'll share it with you. Kia ora to the Edmunds people. Um, so we'll let this cool down in half an hour. We'll throw some cream on top of it. We're just going to throw some strawberries on top of it with a bit more of the passion fruit pulp. And hey presto, we're done. And we had to make a small one one for Brooklyn's work and a smaller one to keep the happy campers here happy. Otherwise they could revolt uh, and that's not pretty. So um, give us a few minutes to let, or give us a half an hour to let that cool down and then um, we'll cream it up and plate it up and you can lick the screen. Okay, so we'll see you soon. It's set beautifully. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, and it's nice and cool. So now we can chuck some of that cream on. Good 
Flip and yum. Now, some people put sugar, like icing sugar in their cream and things like that. But there's enough sugar in there. It'll still taste good. And you can just load it up on top with any sort of fruit that you want. So, that's pretty much how we do it here. With a little bit of this on top. And that is it. That is our super easy trifle. And if you were to use like the the um, carton custard, it would take you, oh. Even less time. Yeah, like five minutes max. So mm. that's a super, super quick, super easy um, dessert. So like I said, we had to make one for the natives here, otherwise it would have uh, revolted. So uh, Brooklyn's team, enjoy that tomorrow. Boop, boop. Watch your blood sugar levels. No. <laughs> actually, it shouldn't be too bad. There is actually isn't a lot of sugar in there. So, um, hope you guys are well. Take care of each other. Don't forget to recycle all your containers, like your um, uh, your jars and and your cream things as well. And um, that's about it. And we'll see you next week. And we might start to do a bit of pickling so that you can get some jars together. We've got lots of zucchinis coming through at the moment, so good zucchini pickle doesn't uh, kill anybody. Have a great week.